guys welcome back okay so you know when you see me at this weird angle off to the side that well aside from when I'm doing new releases <laughs> that I'm over here by the majority of my makeup so I can go ahead and shop my stash for this week so that's what I'm gonna do right quick hopefully this video is not gonna be too long um, because I haven't really been filming as much as I like to I've been kind of off my game a little bit so um hopefully i'll be able to get back in the groove so i can get more onto my regular filming schedule but i just kind of been in a little bit of a funk but i'm trying to get back to it you guys so let's go ahead and pick out some stuff for me to use this week now i do have a couple of items from my last shop my stash that i actually really have been enjoying so i kind of want to keep those <laughs> so i might get some you know that stay around for this one but let's just go ahead and get started i'm not gonna pick a brow product you guys know i love my la girl shady slim slim shady eyebrow pencil it is just the absolute best eyebrow pencil for me and i don't feel like fixing nothing that's not broke today okay so i'm gonna keep my la girl eyebrow pencil so i'm just gonna go in the order that i do my face like i normally do so let's go ahead and pick an eyeshadow base which is going to be really easy as well because i got something new from my girl lily she sent me some p louise base along with a beautiful p louise eyeshadow palette i'm not going to show you guys that because I haven't decided if i'm using it yet or not but yeah she bought me some of the p louise base and she got me rumor 04 which is perfect for me i've only used it once and i already really really like it i was kind of afraid of it thinking that it was going to be like too wet or too tacky but actually after you put it on and put on an even base it kind of dries down it's weird it's just a really nice base <laughs> so i'm pretty sure you guys already know but this is new to me i've never tried it and i'm so so glad that she sent me this so i'm gonna keep using that okay now um let's just jump into the face because i'm gonna have to think about eyeshadow palettes y'all know so for um moisturizing and serum type things i have kind of been using this peach and lily this is the uh, glass skin serum I think I picked this on my last shot my stash and I really really love this serum you guys I kind of want to keep using it I don't want to use anything new if you haven't seen it before this is what it looks like um, it is an amazing serum it just leaves your skin feeling extremely hydrated um, nice and soft and it just has a nice healthy glow to it I don't know if you can really see that but I'm gonna keep using this serum because <laughs> I like it and I think I might you know I kind of want to I've been using the good molecules um, this is their silicone free priming moisturizer I got this they sent this to me to try out like a few months ago earlier in the year and I've been using this stuff like ever since they sent it to me and I really really like it I love it as a moisturizer whenever I use this I do kind of go in with another primer just something to help fill in my pores and blur my skin a bit because this really works nicely as a moisturizer to me I love the texture it doesn't have a scent and it just feels really clean and healthy on my face so i like this as you can probably see i'm like about halfway done so i kind of want to keep using it for a while so i'm going to stick with that for moisturizer so let's go ahead and pick a foundation right quick and i did just kind of pull all my foundation <laughs> so i can just kind of take a quick look with you guys and pick one this is kind of difficult for me this week because I'm really not sure what I'm in the mood for. I kind of really wanted to use my um, Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and I still kind of might. So let me just pull that. Let me get my glasses, y'all. I can barely see. I also kind of want to use this Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. I got this from like the Boxy Pop-Up 
and I used it once and I actually really liked it if I recall correctly but I only used it once so I kind of feel like I need to try it out some more to really get a feel for whether or not it works well for me so I'm thinking I'm probably gonna pull this for sure um you know I haven't used my Juvia's Place foundation in quite a while maybe I'll try that but you know what? Actually, I was looking at another foundation. I have not used this NARS foundation in a very, very long time. And I kind of remember it pulling a little bit orange on me. What color is this? This is Dark 2 New Orleans. So that's the color that I have. Let me see if I can check it out right quick. Yeah, I have not, oh, and I forgot this is watery too, so I need to shake it up. Ew, that looks gross. Um, but yeah, I haven't used this in quite a while. Yeah, it does look like it has a little bit of an orange pull to it, but I definitely can make that work for sure. So, you know what, I think that's what I'm gonna do because I can't remember the last time that I used this NARS foundation, and this is the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation from NARS. So I'm going to pull that and I'm going to pull this Becca foundation, the Becca Ultimate Coverage Foundation. And you guys, I cannot read what shade this is, so I'll put it on the screen. So I'll pull these two foundations for this week. Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and pull a concealer. I have been using my Juvia's Place a lot um, last week. I love this stuff, it's just perfect for me. So I might pull that again. <laughs> Y'all know I like to keep my life easy. Um, so yeah, I think I might pull that again. Cover Girl, have I used my Cover Girl? I don't know if I've used my Cover Girl. This one is Golden Caramel. Let's see what's happening. I don't want anything too light this week. Oh, that actually looks really nice. Yeah, that looks really nice and it's not too, too light. It's kind of close, you know, just a little bit lighter than my skin tone. So, okay, I'll pull this one. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. I'll try this because I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm going to keep my Juvia's place too, just in case. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to move to play it safe this week, you guys. I don't know why. Okay, so for powder, like I said, I have been using a few things this week already that I'm really in love with and I don't want to do anything different. So I'm still using my Becca Hydra Mist Powder. It is the loose powder that I like to use under my eyes. This powder is amazing. I cannot say it enough if you haven't tried it. Oh my gosh, you don't know what you're missing. This stuff is so bomb. I use golden bronze and it just works amazing for me. So I'm gonna keep using that. <laughs> and then I usually use like a powder foundation or something to set my face. If you guys watched my previous Shop My Stash, you know that I was kind of going back and forth with the Sephora. This is the Micro Smooth Powder and I have Deep. And I was kind of like, mm, I'm not really sure exactly how to use this. And you know, everyone was just like, just use it to set your face, KK, use it to set your face. And so I've been using this instead of using like a setting powder or a powder foundation. And I think it's working rather nicely. Okay, <laughs> so I'm gonna keep playing with that, keep checking it out. And, but I already really, really like it. So, okay, so let's go ahead and pick a bronzer. Um, I'm kind of in the mood for a bronzer palette this week as opposed to just a regular bronzer. Now, last week I did try out this Too Faced bronzer. Very, very cute packaging, as you can see. Extremely cute, and it's a nice bronzer. I actually think that it's a very nice bronzer. It just doesn't go as deep as I like my bronzer to go. You can see it on me. It does show up, but it's just not as deep and as rich as I would like for my bronzer to go. So 
I'm gonna chill on that for a minute because I'm wanting something a little bit richer right now. I did pick up the newest Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. You guys know I already have the medium one in powder as well as in cream. I never use the cream one for some reason. But I have used this uh, medium to dark contour palette like crazy. I really, really like it a lot. So this is what the dark to deep looks like. Oh my gosh, do you see how rich and beautiful that looks? I'm gonna try out this deep to dark and see how I like it. Okay, so for blush and highlight, I think I have a couple of new items that I'm thinking about playing around with. Um, the first one for highlight being this new Desi and Katie. It's not new. It's very, very old. But it's new to me because I bought it on sale. <laughs> so this is the Desi and Katie highlighter that came out, you know, with their palette and everything back in the day. I never picked it up. But when it went on sale, I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and check it out. So yes, yeah, the Chasing the Sun highlighter. So I do want to go ahead and try this out. Let me go ahead and do a little swatch for you guys. Ooh, okay. So that's what that highlighter looks like on my skin tone. Yeah, that's pretty. <laughs> She's pretty. Yeah. I also picked up one of these huge highlighters this is one of the soul body highlighters in the shade golden now i ordered this from the ulta website i originally ordered it from ColourPop, but you guys know ColourPop is not shipping orders right now so i went ahead and canceled my ColourPop order and ordered this from ulta and because i was really anxious to try it out but it kind of sucks because mine came like all kind of distorted and I had to kind of like press it back into the pan I mean the product is fine as you can see I just didn't realize that it was kind of like um, I don't know kind of like a creamy putty like texture I thought it was powder you know like other highlighters but it's not it's kind of like a putty creamy texture so if you're thinking that this is like powder it's not it's like I don't know. Only way I can describe it is kind of like a super shock. I mean, the highlighter itself is absolutely gorgeous. But yeah, it's definitely like a cream type thing, not a powder. So just FYI, in case you're curious about these, this one, like I said, is the shade Golden. So I am going to pull this so I can play with this a little bit this week and see how I feel about the whole kind of putty creamy type thing but the highlighter itself <laughs> bomb okay okay so i ordered some things from juno and co i ordered their expensive moisturizer because they had a sale going on it was like a two for one sale and then i was also able to get some kind of discount i don't remember oh you got like free brushes if you spent a certain amount or something like that so i did get a set of free brushes those brushes stunk like oh my goodness it's they smell like a fish market i'm <laughs> just letting you know those free brushes that i got really really stunk so i had to actually soak them in like some strong shampoo to get the smell to go away it did go away but they stunk so anyways and they're very very cute i'll show them to you so these are the free brushes that i received from juno and co when I ordered during their sale. So it's a very, very cute brush set, very pretty in the handles and everything. But yeah, when I opened it up, it came in a little brush roller thing too. I had to spray that thing and put it outside. <laughs> but <laughs> they're very cute and they don't smell anymore because I soaked them in some really strong shampoo. But anywho, I did pick up some items and one of the items that I picked up is this face palette and y'all I don't know why I bought this face palette. This is the bombshell palette. Well, I take that back. I know why I bought it because online it looked like it would work for me, but and some of the the blush and the highlight definitely will work for me. Um 
this palette is absolutely gorgeous but i definitely think it's more fair skin friendly you know just being honest i could definitely use this blush this blush for sure this highlight is gorgeous this right here is like a really really pretty extremely glittery type situation so i would never use that on my face <laughs> let me go ahead and swatch this for you guys but yeah i would definitely use it for like an eyeshadow because on my face yeah no it ain't gonna work so let me just show you guys you know what the shades look like in here so that's what they look like i mean actually that pink shimmer is kind of pretty i might actually put that on my face now that i'm looking at <laughs> the swatch that's actually really pretty i might put that on my face but yeah it's really too light for me to use the highlighter this one i can use in this blush definitely for sure absolutely gorgeous but um yeah, I didn't even swatch that quote unquote bronzer shade because you guys know that bronzer will not work for me at all. So, but anyways, this is a really gorgeous palette. So I definitely want to kind of play around with this with some makeup this week. Very, very pretty. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull this. And then I kind of want to do a blush palette. Um, I haven't used this Morphe palette since after, right after I bought it very very pretty this is the morphe 8c and so this is the cool tone blush palette from them very very pretty shades in here gorgeous kind of pinky pinky mauvey tones this palette here is from coastal scents this is the blush 2 palette and as you can see this one has some of the same type shades in it um, there's a bright orange in here some beautiful kind of dusty roses as well as this bright kind of purple lavender shade um yeah maybe i will go ahead and pull this yeah i'll pull i'll pull both of these i think for this week i should be able to pick <laughs> blushes for my eye looks out of these two palettes okay so for mascara this is really easy i'm not gonna pick a new mascara this week because i've really been enjoying this pretty vulgar mascara that i got from my boxy charm i believe i'm realizing that i really really like pretty vulgar products because the concealer that i got out of my box i love <laughs> i did find a dupe for it though so i won't be repurchasing it because i found that i really really like the nyx hd concealer just as much as i like that pretty vulgar so i'm not going to repurchase it because it's very pricey but the NYX works just as well for me. But this Pretty Vulgar Mascara, I like it a lot. So I'm going to keep using this um, for the next week. Now, I know I'm going to be using the Good Molecules Priming Moisturizer as well as finishing my sample of the No Problem Benefit Primer that I received. But I did pick up another primer. This one is from e.l.f. and it is a hydrating primer that I actually want to try out. I forgot about it until just now. It's the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer, Prime On The Go. And it's just kind of like in this cute little tube. And it looks like, yeah, it looks like a clear gel. That was a lot. <laughs> but that's what it looks like, in case you're curious. And it kind of reminds me of what is it, the Maybelline, is it Baby Soft or Baby Smooth? Let me see. Okay, get it together, it's the Baby Skin. <laughs> the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. This is the Instant Pore Eraser uh, Primer. So yeah, this one is like a clear gel also, and it feels pretty much like identical. I wonder what the price difference is. I don't remember how much I paid for the e.l.f. Um, but I mean, I wouldn't think that the Maybelline would be that expensive, but yeah, it feels exactly <laughs> the same to me. So I'm thinking maybe this um, could be a dupe. Maybe I should do like a comparison, huh? I'm curious now. Yeah, I'm gonna put both of these in my little bin here and see how they compare. <laughs>
Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and take a look at a few palettes that I picked to use this week. I know I haven't been doing that great with using the palettes that I pick out of like five or six palettes. I usually use about two or three, which I think is good because at least I'm still using some of them. <laughs> but I don't know, it's just hard for me to pick my palettes ahead of time. But I do like to pick a couple out to kind of aim for, if you know what I mean. So this first one is really special to me because it was a gift is from artist couture and this is the what midnight maven if i'm reading that correctly very very pretty palette that came out a little while ago my girl lily sent me this palette look at these colors you guys oh my gosh i can just see the pink and purple and turquoise eye look <laughs> that i can get out of this already it's so so gorgeous so i do want to use this so that's one of my goals to use that i also have another palette which was a gift as well i know i got some bomb friends right this was a gift from a girl dj and this is the viseart dark mattes palette you guys i have been wanting this palette for like what two three years now ever since i started my youtube channel <laughs> and i've just been too cheap to buy it and you guys are probably like i know people when i say i'm cheap y'all just be like whatever girl because you you spend money on makeup but you know how it's just certain things that you're just like you can't bring yourself to buy it even though you want it so bad this is one of those palettes and so my girl is like i got you okay so yeah the viseart dark mattes oh, I have been wanting this palette for so long. First of all, I love matte shadows and just the richness of the colors in this palette. It's just like, oh my gosh. I cannot wait to do just like a deep, rich, smoky kind of look with this palette. I can't wait. So my goal is to use this palette as well. I also picked this up during the sale. <laughs> I went back and forth on it because I felt like it was so gorgeous. This is the Melt, um, what is it called? The Rust, yeah, this is the Rust palette, I guess. You know, just like the Rust stack with more shades. But this is the new Melt Rust palette that came out not too long ago. I did go ahead and snag this during the Sephora sale. So I wanna, you know, just create a nice, warm, earthy look with this palette. And also, I picked up this Nomad palette. This has kind of been like all the rage on the tube <laughs> lately. I've seen a lot of people uh, picking this up and doing videos on it. And it's just like, oh my gosh. So this is the Nomad Tokyo palette. And this is basically like a pastel lover's dream. And yeah it's just it's just screams spring to me but i think what's really grasping everyone's attention are these shimmers down here because those shimmers oh my gosh they just look so gorgeous and when i've seen people use them on the eye they look just as gorgeous on the eye so yeah i'm really really excited about trying this palette out <laughs> shot my stash for this week you guys hopefully you enjoyed picking out my makeup for the week with me i can't wait to use these products and see how i like them on my face <laughs> and let you guys know my thoughts on them so thanks for hanging out and i will see you on the next one toodles